Without water, there is no life. Everything will cease to be. The food we eat, the cities we live in, our creature comforts, the land around us, our very existence. One organization shoulders the enormous responsibility of managing and developing this vital resource. The Department of Irrigation and Drainage, DID. Man lives in a river basin. The river basin represents the most basic unit of community life. Water in the river basin is derived from rainfall. It journeys down to the heart of the river basin and into the sea via streams and rivers. It is there to be harnessed and harvested for man's benefit or to be lost forever. DID's task is to ensure that a reliable supply of water is available to meet the needs of the country. The work of DID is best reflected in relation to the journey of the river, its changing role and functions, its different phases, its different states, and its impact on the environment. The primary use for water in this country is still in agriculture. An elaborate network of canals put in place throughout the length and breadth of the country ensures that sufficient irrigation water for the cultivation of rice and other crops is available in the right quantities and at the right time. A look at the river basin shows that in its upstream phase, a river is in its most pristine and healthy stage. The water is clean, the flora and fauna rich. The lush vegetation slowly gives way to urban settlement in the middle and lower reaches. This is where rivers face their biggest threats. In his frenzied rush towards progress, man has unthinkingly inflicted much damage on rivers. Erosion and sedimentation have rendered rivers shallower and smaller, hence hindering water flow. Pollution is another major threat. As a result, not only is the flow of water hindered, the water quality drops dramatically. In extreme cases, rivers die. Constricted rivers increase the risk of flooding. Polluted rivers are a threat to health. Another phenomenon that has become a matter of grave concern is the increased frequent flooding in towns and cities. Changes in the environment due to rapid and unplanned urbanization has greatly reduced the rate of natural infiltration, hence increasing stormwater runoff. When rivers cannot accommodate the voluminous quantities of stormwater runoff, urban flooding occurs. Flood mitigation is a key function of DID. Structural measures taken to address the problem of flooding include the planning and building of storage facilities, such as reservoirs, dams and lakes in strategic locations. Other structural work on rivers include creating river bypasses, straightening, widening and deepening. The construction of facilities such as pump houses, drains and drainage structures. DID also provides the vital service of flood forecasting and warning. Through its InfoBanjir website, real-time flood information and advisory messages are disseminated to the general public. This flood forecasting system is possible through telemetric stations installed in the 36 river basins in the country. Over the years, the DID's flood mitigation projects throughout the country have successfully reduced the impact of floods. They continue to save the country hundreds of millions of ringgit yearly. DID's newest challenge in flood mitigation comes from urban flooding. It has initiated a program which advocates a revolutionary approach in the management of storm water. The new approach looks at storm water as an asset and resource which should be retained and detained. The creation of storage facilities such as ponds and lakes will add value to property besides enriching the quality of urban life. 
Apart from being able to mitigate floods effectively, rivers must convey clean water. Measures taken towards this end include building sediment traps and sedimentation ponds to reduce the rate of sedimentation in rivers. Because of their expanse, ultimately the successful conservation of the river lies with everyone. Only through the conscious participation of the entire population can there be a permanent solution to the problem of dirty rivers and escalating floods. In line with this thinking, the department has embarked on an integrated program to increase greater understanding of the role of rivers in the environment and to change the general apathy and indifference towards rivers. Some of the public service promotions it has undertaken include Love Our Rivers campaign, River Cleanup programs. Ultimately, DID's mission is to return rivers to their natural state, clean, vibrant and living arteries through which all life can flourish. At the furthest reach of the river basin, the river meets the sea. River estuaries usually succumb to siltation. A common problem is retarded water flow, which in turn increases the risk of flooding. Correctional works include the dredging of sand and silt aimed at deepening and widening the river. The construction of breakwater walls to prevent or reduce erosion. The strengthening of banks or coastlines or revetment works. And beach nourishment, which is the replenishment and the maintenance of sand on the beaches. About one-third of the country's 4,800 kilometers of coastline is in danger of erosion. The department's main function in this respect is monitoring and controlling the problem of erosion in the coastline. It is evident that the river basin is more than the sum of its parts. All components within it are interconnected. In view of this fact, DID advocates that development within a river basin must therefore be approached from an integrated and holistic manner. It's a long road ahead, but recognizing the need for such an approach is the beginning of the journey towards truly sustainable development and existence. As the National Depository for Hydraulic and Hydrological Data, DID is in the best position to offer counsel and services to organizations and agencies involved in work that has a bearing on water. Its wealth of knowledge has also enabled the DID to be a knowledge exporter not just within the country but to the countries in the region. The department's contribution to the world in this respect continues to bring it international accolade. Seventy years have gone by since its inception. For the DID, it has been seven decades of learning, adapting and evolving to match the ever-growing demands of the country. Today, it is a full-fledged organization, confident in the knowledge that it has the expertise to help make the country a better place to live in. A journey begun 70 years ago has taken on a new earnestness. For the DID, the destination is in clear view. Getting there is a foregone conclusion. What stands in between is just time.